This week is Red Ribbon Week in Tippecanoe County, a week that focuses on promoting alcohol and drug-free lifestyles to local teens. But as the choices in drug abuse change, so do the lessons. News 18's Elizabeth Rinchler breaks down the statistics to see what, uh, which drugs Tippecanoe County teens abuse the most and how officials are addressing the problem. Hundreds of students packed the Trails Banquet Hall Monday morning for the Red Ribbon Week kickoff breakfast. It's an event that's meant to be both fun and educational for students. And they'll hopefully remember those messages, remember the things that they did, the people they were with, and, and think about those things. The goal of Red Ribbon Week is to promote a drug and alcohol free lifestyle to students of all ages. Tippecanoe County Drug Free Coalition Director Kate Kerrigan says when it comes to teen drug use here in Tippecanoe County, some statistics are down while others continue to rise. Alcohol use among youth tends to be down. Um, marijuana is gaining popularity because of what's happening around the nation. Not just marijuana, but synthetic marijuana, which according to recent statistics, is the third most abused drug among teens in Tippecanoe County. Kerrigan says they've also seen a spike in prescription drug abuse, especially over the last three years. I think young people tend to uh, believe in that myth that if it's, if it's in my house, if it's in my medicine cabinet, it's safer than some of the other things. The Drug-Free Coalition of Tippecanoe County surveyed local teens in 2013 and found an 8% increase between 8th graders who admit to abusing alcohol versus 10th graders. For marijuana, that gap was just 6%. The jump tends to happen around the 7th, 8th grade age, and that's why we feel like it's important to, to talk to students early on. And that's exactly what Monday's breakfast was trying to accomplish. Kerrigan says of the 350 students in attendance, 200 were of elementary age. While she's happy with the turnout, she says it's up to parents to continue the education at home. When young people have been asked who has the most influence on the decisions you make, a lot of them report that it's their parents. Most of them report that it's their parents. So make sure your, your young children and growing children know how you feel. Several Tippecanoe County businesses are offering deals this Red Ribbon Week for families who take the pledge to be drug and alcohol free. For a list of those deals, just visit our website at WLFI.com. Elizabeth Rentschler, News 18.